Dear children, uh, welcome you all to the lecture from Mishikara. In the today lecture, uh, we will discuss a new chapter that is uh, mixing. And mixing chapter, uh, we will try to cover uh, the topics related to mixing, the fundamental concepts, uh, importance of mixing, as well as uh, the mechanisms and mixing equipment used in solid solid mixing. Dear students, as you know, the objectives of uh, today's lecture is uh, to learn about the fundamental concept of the mixing and uh, importance of mixing and the industrial pharmacy and the mechanism involved in the solid solid mixing and different types of equipment used in the mixing up solid solid material dear students after the completion of today's lecture you will be able to know about the fundamental concept of the mixing pharmaceutical importance and uh, basic mechanism in the solid solid mixing as well as the various equipment used for the mixing of solid solid material. Before going to discuss the importance and the significance of the mixing process, first of all we will briefly discuss the fundamental concept of the uh, mixing. Before going to discuss in detail the fundamental concept it is important to learn about the introduction of the mixing. Dear students, basically mixing is a unit operation that aims to treat two or more components. Remember that two or more than two components are necessary for this uh, unit operation and the aims or objectives of this uh, unit operation which is termed as mixing is to treat two or more than two components which are initially in an unmixed form or partially mixed form or straight. These two or more than two components which were in initially uh, an unmixed form are in the form of the partially mixed state and uh, the aims is uh, to treat these two or more than two components so that after the treatment of this process each unit which I have told you that is two or more than two components and each uh, unit in the components or particle or molecule etc of the components which are two or more than two components lies as nearly as possible and contact with unit of each of the other components. Suppose we have two components then it uh, will be treated so that initially these two components were an unmixed form or partially mixed state and after the treatment one component well lies as nearly as possible in contact with the unit of the second component. Suppose we have two components, component A and component B two material, then the process of mixing will treat these two components uh, which are A and B as such that the particles of A will be in concerns with the components of particle B rather than the similar particle and contact with one another. In simple words, uh, mixing is a process that tends to results 
are randomization of dissimilar particles. If we have dissimilar particles and uh, we have to randomize these uh, dissimilar particles within a system, then it is termed as mixing. The, this is the simple definition, a simple wording definition of the mixing that it is a process that tends to result in a randomization of dissimilar particle. Remember that dissimilar particle, if we put here similar particle, then uh, this will be not mixing. Because similar particle uh, contact with one another, uh, this will be not an optimized type of the mixing or the uh, mixing. Partially mixing or unmixed form will be exist. Now we will discuss the importance of mixing. That why we study the mixing process in the pharmaceutical industry and what is the pharmaceutical significance of the process of mixing. There are very few pharmaceutical products that contain only one component. In majority cases, there are several ingredients which are active pharmaceutical ingredients as well as the excipient which are required and essential for dosage form function as required. If for example, a pharmaceutical company wishes to produce a tablet dosage form and that tablet dosage form which is a solid dosage form containing a drug which is uh, active uh, and which is API at a dose of 1 milligram. If you say that uh, we have to prepare a tablet dosage form and that contain a drug which is API and uh, it is active at a dose of 1 milligram. Other components, uh, for example, diluents, binders, disintegrants, and lubricants, uh, which are excipients will be needed both to enable the product to be manufactured, the product to be manufactured, that is tablet to be manufactured, and for it to be handled by the patient, because one milligram is not enough quantity to be handled by the patient easily, and uh, it is uh, difficult to handle by the patient, because it is a minute quantity, a small quantity. And secondly, a proper massing of the tablets is not possible. If you want to compress one milligram mass, it is difficult. It is uh, not possible. So there are several other components which are necessary for enabling uh, the manufacturing of dosage form. That is a tablet dosage form, containing the active ingredient at a dose of one milligram. So we require some other components like diluents, binders, disintegrants and lubricants and optimization of the dosage form design as well as the productivity. The appropriate concentration of these ingredients will be required not only to enable the production of the tablet but also for uh, handling of this tablet dosage form after adding these uh, excipients which will be handled by the patient easily. Whenever a product contains more than one component, mixing or blending stage will be required in the manufacturing process, not only the mixing process is required for the tablet, but it is also required for a product which having more than one component because we have to mix it. This may be in order to ensure an even distribution of the active pharmaceutical ingredients or active component to ensure an even appearance or to ensure that the dosage farm releases the drug at the correct site and at the desired rate. So the process of the blending or mixing is one of the essential component for the manufacturing process of 
a product with containing more than one component. And uh, these are the reasons that is in order to ensure an even distribution of the active components and as well as to ensure an even appearance or to ensure the dosage form releases the active pharmaceutical ingredient or component at the correct site where you are required and at the desired rate. The unit operation of mixing which is the randomization of uh, dissimilar particles is therefore involved at some stage in the production of practically every pharmaceutical preparation. Suppose we are going to prepare syrup, it is a liquid dosage form. There are several ingredients, sometimes the uh, active ingredient is one than more than one component and uh, we have to add some details as well. So it is uh, one of the mandatory operation, unit operation in the preparation of uh, liquid dosage form. Similarly, uh, we are going to prepare semi-solid dosage form, solid dosage form or dry suspension or any other formulation which having more than one component, the unit operation of mixing will be of prime importance and the production of pharmaceutical preparation. Now we will discuss the types of mixtures. Mixture may be classified into three classes including positive mixture, the second class is negative mixture, the third one is neutral mixture. Positive mixtures are types of mixture which are formed with two or more than two gases or miscible liquid are mixed together by means of diffusion process. In this case, when two or more than two gases, either two gases are mix together by the process of diffusion or when two miscible liquid are mixed together by means of diffusion process in this case no energy is required provided the time allowed for solution formation is sufficient these type of material don't create any problem in mixing for example a positive mixtures when we are going to mix two or more than two uh, gases or when we are going to mix two or more than two miscible liquids. These are mixed by means of diffusion process. There is no difficulty in the process of mixing of uh, positive mixture. The second class of mixture that is termed as negative mixture these types of mixture are formed when insoluble solid are mixed with a vehicle to form a suspension. We call it from suspension in which the particles or active pharmaceutical ingredients are suspended because of the insolubility of the solid. An appropriate vehicle, such, uh, it is uh, formulated in the form of suspension, and when two immiscible liquid are mixed to form an emulsion, because an emulsion is that perfect system of two immiscible liquids which are mixed together one another in the presence of a stabilizing agent that is uh, termed as emulsifying agent, while in the suspension, a uh, suspending agent is added in order to provide the suspending capacity. These mixtures, uh, like suspensions or emulsions, are more difficult to prepare and require a higher degree of mixing with external force as uh, there is tendency of the components of these mixture separating out unless they are continuously uh, stirred. So continuous stirring and stabilization is necessary and uh, a degree of mixing 
uh, is required is higher compared to uh, the first law that is positive mixture. So negative, uh, negative mixtures include suspension formulation and emulsion formulation mixing required. And the third type of mixture that is termed is neutral mixture. Many pharmaceutical products such as paste which having a high concentration of solid contents up to 50% of the solid content ointments which are semi solid dosage form which are used for the employed for the skin or mucous membrane mostly for external use and milk powders are the example of neutral mixture they are treating in their behavior the components of such products like paste, twinements and milk powder don't have any tendency to mix spontaneously but once they are mixed they don't separate out easily. Neutral uh, mixture example paste, twinements and milk powder. This is illustrated below uh, by the list of products that uh, are variable utilizing the mixing processes of some kind like tablets in which we have one or more than uh, two, two or two more than two electropharmaceutical ingredients and some of the excipients like the binder and uh, diluents and similarly chip shoes, swashes and dry powder and hellers which are example of the mixture of solid particles and uh, shortly I can say that uh, powder mixing which is involved in the tablet, chip shoes, sachet and the dry powder and hair preparation the mixing process is mandatory in this dosage form which is uh, concluded as powder mixing the second one is uh, lanthasis lanthasis is a syrup in medicinal formulation take it to leaf cuffs and sore throats for this purpose, the CAP medicinal dosage form for relieving the cuffs and the sore throats. Uh, like this is formulated, which is a mixture of miscible liquid. In this case, by the preparation of the lactases, the mixing process is uh, one of the important uh, unit operation in order to ensure the active ingredient and the excipients used in the formulation in order to ensure the content uniformity so this is uh, one of the example of mixture of miscible liquid emulsion and creams cream is basically a viscous type of emulsion and emulsion is a biphasic system of the two m miscible liquid and the mixture of immiscible liquid which is uh, stabilized by the emulsifying agent the mixing is very much important in this case as well while we are formulating the emulsion and cream similar to dispersion of solid particles example include the paste with the high content of solid particles are used as well as suspension and when the solid particles are dispersed and they are suspended and uh, these formulations are different dosage form like the powder mixing including a tablet, chip shoes, sauce and dry powder and heller similarly the mixture of miscible liquid like the lactases the mixture of immiscible liquid like an emulsion and cream formulation and dispersion of solid particles involved in the paste and the suspension formulation and all these processes of the dosage forms and variably utilizing the mixing process up to some extent. Now we will discuss the classification of mixing. The classification of mixing one of the bases on the basis of the uh, phases of the matter mixing of solids, mixing of liquid and mixing of 
immiscible liquid. Mixing of solids, as you know, uh, the name indicates that uh, solid will be involved. The solid dosage form and the manufacture of tablets, and which one of uh, more than one active ingredients with the uh, appropriate concentration of the excipients or for preparation of glues which are further compression to tablets or glues are provided in the form of the sachet as well or sometimes uh, the glues are reconstituted in a drive uh, glues normally a number of additives are added in the manufacture of either a tablet dosage form or glues. Therefore, mixing of powder becomes essential part of the process because a number of additives are involved apart from the active pharmaceutical ingredient. So, the mixing of powder will be one of the essential unit operation for processing. Mixing is considered as a critical factor, especially in case of potent dye, because in potent dye, a small quantity, which is a, a low dose of drugs where high amounts of adjuvants are added, so it is very much critical factor, which is considered, especially in case of the potent drug, which having a potency, maximum potency, because the low dose to be dispersed and the high amounts of the adjuvants and it should be ensured that it is uh, uniform distributed the content uniformity uh, will be ensured the diverse characteristic of particles such as the uh, particle size the shape of the particle volume surface area density porosity flow charge contribute to solid mixing these are the factors which uh, will contribute to the solid mixing. Depending on the flow property, solids uh, materials are divided into two classes, either uh, cohesive or non-cohesive. These are the two classes of the solid depending on their flow properties. One is cohesive solid, second one is non-cohesive solid. Now, in this part of the lecture, we will discuss the mixing of solid and the different mechanism involved in the mixing of solid. There are three main mechanisms which are involved in the mixing of solids. The first one is uh, which is termed as convective mixing or macro mixing. The second mechanism is shear mixing and third one is diffusion mixing which is also termed as micro mixing. In the convective mixing, inversion of the powder mass or powder bed using blades or pedals or screw elements. These are used for the inversion of the powder mass in which large mass of materials moves from one place to another place. Here, pedals or bl blades or screw elements are involved in order to ensure the large quantity of the solid material movement from one place to another place. By this mechanism, the powder are mixed by using uh, these like uh, blades or pedals or screw elements which are in the mixer. The second one is uh, shear mixing and this type of uh, mechanism of mixing forces of attraction are broken. When the process forces of attraction are broken down then the particle will be freely moved on its own between region of different components and parallel to their surfaces and uh, the forces of attraction broken downing will be lead to the movement of the particle not only on its own between regions of different components but also as well as parallel to their surfaces the movement will be occur. The third mechanism involved in the solid 
mixing is diffusion mixing which is also termed as micro mixing involving the random motion of particle within the powder bed thereby particles change their position relative to one another these are the three mechanism of mixing of solid classification of equipment for solid mixing there are different uh, methods for classification of equipment for solid mixing the first base is based on flow properties and the second is based on scale of mixing based on flow properties either uh, free flowing solid or the cohesive solid the free flowing on the basis of flow properties uh, the solids can be classified into two classes either the free flowing solids or the cohesive solids in the free flowing solids uh, different types of equipments are used like v cone blend double cone blender for cohesive solid mixing sigma blender and planetary blend mixer are used the second uh, classification that is based on scale of mixing big type that is small scale a small scale water and pestle v cone blender double cone blender these are different types of equipment which are used for the uh, big type of small scale mixing of solid material apart from these uh, ribbon blender sigma blender planetary blender and protoid mixer are used when we require the big type of small scale for the continuous type or large scale mixing process the barrel type or the exact type of mixer are used these are the two bases of classification of equipment for solid mixing now we will discuss one of the important uh, mixer which is used in the solid mixing which is termed as double cone mix blender or double cone mixer which is widely used in the pharmaceutical industry for powder mixing it consists of double cone and rotating shaft it is usually used for small amounts of powder as well you can see on the screen that is a double having double cone and uh, one of the central axis rotation for this uh, rotating shaft it is efficient for mixing powders of different density if we have uh, some powder and uh, having different densities uh, it, it can be efficiently mixed by using double cone blender material is loaded and emptying is done through the same port in this case you can see that there are two ports uh, the bottom one and the top one uh, we can use one of the port which is used for the loading and unloading of the uh, powder to be mixed the rate of rotation should be optimum depending upon the size shape of the tumbler and nature of the material to be mixed the rate of rotation commonly ranges from 30 to 100 rpm uh, this is a figure of the uh, double cone blender references you can uh, consult like men and labor men the theory and practice of industrial pharmacy third edition page number 123 similarly alter pharmaceutics the science of dosage form design second edition you can consult pages 181 to 183 that's all about the mixing the basic concept its importance and uh, mechanism and mixing equipment used in the solid solid mixing the different bases of classification first of all we have discussed in detail the definition and importance of mixing and the dosage form the types of mixture including positive mixture negative mixture neutral mixture we have explained all the three types of mixture with example 
in this lecture we have already discussed the different dosage form involving the process of mixing then we classify mixing process mixing of solids mixing of liquid and mixing of immiscible liquid and then we have discussed in detail the mixing of solids and the uh, different mechanisms of mixing of solids including convective mixing shear mixing and diffusion mixing then we have classified the different types of equipment for the solid mixing and uh, two bases classification one is based on flow properties the second one is based on scale of mixing and then we thoroughly discuss the double cone blender which is widely used in the pharmaceutical industry thank you all for your attention